this conversation going around about us women trying to tell and explain to other women how you shouldn't be taking advice from women who tell you to stay single who are married. We're not speaking negatively about them. We're not speaking bad about them. We're just letting you know that they're not even following the lifestyle that they're telling you to follow. And then y'all defense is, well, they want to. No, they don't. They're not struggling alone. They're not financially by themselves. They're not physically by themselves. And they're giving y'all advice. It would be different if they were giving y'all good advice as far as how they got their man, how you can keep a man. But no, they're basically telling you how to stay away from men. And it's funny because y'all don't think that's suspicious that all these women who are telling y'all to hate men and stay away from men are in relationships. And what's so sad is y'all can't even see that they're really trying to ruin y'all. Y'all don't even get it. They're doing it for money. Because the easiest way to make money is to pander to single or bitter women. That's the easiest way to make money. Like if I did it, I'm sure I would have millions of followers. You think they would be telling y'all how to coexist, how to compromise with a man the way they're compromising with their men, but instead they're making money off y'all suffering. Woo! Hold the phone, y'all. That's so true. We would have a large following. We would have tons of support as far as just subscribers and women watching our content. He said nothing but a word. Okay, 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 okay. That part. That part. Toya said, you all are being scammed. You all, as single women, listening to these married women, and I am a wife, who are telling you, you know, men aren't this, men aren't that. And meanwhile, your dating life is in shambles, frustrated with the state of your dating life. And you have a whole a woman here who has a whole husband, and she's being dishonest with you. But she is speaking negatively about men who could potentially be very great. You know, she is speaking negatively about men and nobody is free of any type of imperfection but to be online speaking ill about men when you have a whole husband at home who's providing protecting leading that's dirty work Every women telling women lies and you're single is despicable and it undermines the dating challenges that a lot of you all face and i wouldn't listen to a person who be willing to tell those type of lies and they're not trying to like imagine a woman being married and every her whole platform is about how doggish men are or how men ain't this and that and but when she shuts the computer down or turns off her app she is laid up next to her man okay who was rubbing her feet working hard for her and the children every single day you should feel you know, you should feel a certain type of way about that. But I want to share this other video with y'all. Drew and that other lady who's married, but tell women to stay single forever. And there's a couple of things that people need to understand. If you see a creator telling people to either get married and they aren't married or to stay single and they aren't single, I'm not saying they're wrong off rip. I'm saying look into that. Look into that a little bit. Cause y'all know my motto. I tell young men all the time, like as soon as you get steady, I'm not saying you got to be rich, you got to be at the finish line, but as soon as you get steady, find your woman, marry her, live happily ever after. Stop all the bullshit. I, I've said it so many times because I really believe that. Like, there ain't nothing out here in these streets for y'all. Whole bunch of heartache and pain with a side of fun. Fun be the french fries and y'all really be here for the french fries for y'all whole lives. Every time I say that, people get mad. Don't tell people to do that. Not young, not this, not that. And I've stuck with it all the way through. Because how stupid would I be to get up here and be like, don't, a married man, get up here and be like, I don't believe in marriage. Y'all shouldn't get married. <laughs> Stay single, right. fellas. What are, what are we talking about? So when I think about that from my perspective, I have to think like those women are either one, miserable in their marriages and they're telling you not to make the same mistake that they did or two they're just using you as the method they're really just they they really cooking y'all ass and i'm not saying that the information they're putting out is all toxic and terrible i'm just saying man really give it some thought because it does look crazy it does look crazy when you think about it and that's a great point to say men I can acknowledge that men make mistakes and I can say, hey, you know, don't do this, this and that and the third. A man, if he does this and he may want this from you and if you want to be a wife or if you are a wife, you want to be married and have a family, then this is not what you want to do with a man. Right. But y'all don't listen to that. Y'all will only harp on the couple of points that I may say and let and believe that that is the whole premise to everything that I talk about. And again, I. 
respect the fact that women don't want to be wise, but I'm talking to wives when I do have that conversation. I'm not talking to women who don't want to be wives. And so again, if, and let's not act like people don't do scams and they don't do certain things when they know it's a money grab. And like I've stated before, women in this culture and today's society and today's these times can be easily persuaded with the male bashing, you know, men ain't this and that, and they can make that their whole, their whole, you know, message, their whole platform. And it always behooved me. And it always made me think like, how can you be a channel that's about helping women be better, but you're not mentioning anything of substance that a woman can do to improve upon yourself for self-improvement. Because if you sit up here and you decide to turn that camera on and everything that you say is about what men shouldn't be doing or what men aren't doing, that's quote unquote, uh, making your life a living hell, then you need to be spending twice as much time talking about the things that women should do in which they can hold themselves accountable. And even before we get to the accountability piece, having level of self-awareness, and that means having some honest real conversations with each other as women and it's not going to feel good and it's not going going to sound good but you got to call it like it is and that way we can minimize right diminish alleviate reduce the potential and the risk for running into making poor choices and decisions when it comes to certain types of men but to paint broad brushes and broad strokes about the character of men all for the purpose of playing on the true challenges that many women who may really, they may not say it, but they may really want a man. They may really want to be married. And because we know that we have this culture of uh, discourse between men and women right now with the gender war conversations. And, it, you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, men bashing should fly or women bashing should fly either. Cause that's not true either. One of the things I've always said is that I don't tolerate bashing of women the same way that I don't tolerate the bashing of men. But the problem is that when a woman gets online and she addresses her fellow woman, then it automatically becomes, it's an issue. When you don't side with the majority of women, then it becomes an issue. When whatever I say and other women who are similar in thoughts when it comes to women accountability, what we're saying is for your own improvement and it's out of love and out of care and concern. Whereas all these other, a lot of these other women, they're just going to lie to you and you're going to sit up there for hours scrolling, doom scrolling, absorbing all of that content. And then when it's all said and done, that woman going to close that computer and get off that app and she's going to go lay up in the arms of a man that loves her. And they probably laughing at y'all behinds because they're over here running the back up off of y'all misery and your inability to find a suitable partner. So let me know what you guys think about this topic, about married women lying and pandering to single women who are struggling in today's marketplace. What do you think about that topic of married women pandering to single women in today's gender war dating climate? Do you think that they're miserable in their marriage? Do you think that they are plotting and praying on the fact that there is a lot of discourse between men and women today when it comes to dating? The fact that a majority of women or a lot of women, at least publicly online, they're saying we don't want no man. We don't need no man. I miss independent, you know, let me know what you think about being lied to by married women when it comes to single women, dating, and relationships. Until the next video, peace. God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Peace, y'all.